yeah, when I was only getting piss tested for fucking weed, man. Like, uh, right. of my 21 trips, of my 21 trips to Japan, uh, two of them were for three months at a time. So add in the other 19 trips, and you probably have, those two months, those, those two trips there were six months. Mm -hmm. It's easy to think, with the six months consumed in those two trips, and my other 19 trips, I have probably spent a year of my fucking life wrestling in Japan, mm -hmm. which is awesome, but I am a hopeless fucking pothead. Right. Like, I've been in trouble a bunch, got in trouble in the army, <laughs> I'm always, but I can't seem to stop. I just can't seem to stop getting high. And I, I won't. I refuse. I refuse to stop, goddammit. I've been through too much. I'm not going to stop now. Oh. But uh, So, getting in that year of my life wrestling in Japan, I've got high twice. And both times, it was I was living with a girl, and I was bugging her every day. Hey, hey, find marijuana, marijuana, come on, find marijuana, find marijuana. Because she would take me to, like, uh, we'd go shopping and stuff. They got like a shirt with pot on it. Oh, I should chuckle and laugh. I live with a, with a, a I live with a hooker for three months. Yeah, you got, yeah. we got to back up. Forget, write that down. Make a little note to remind me about the hooker story. It was an awesome story. I still talk. See, she randomly likes my pictures on Facebook. Any, any, anything I do on Facebook, she likes. So if you ever you see a strange Japanese girl who likes everything I do on Facebook, well, that's her. That's her. But uh, so how how was your match with Rob Van Dam? How did that go? Was that cool or? Well, I mean, wrestling is wrestling, but what, way, right? what what did it for me was like only uh, seeing weed twice in this fucking year of my goddamn life. So here it comes. Here's how life gets you sometimes. Uh, at this point in my life, I, I was being I was being randomly drug tested right. for three months. Right. Out of my 39 years, uh, three little months there, I couldn't fucking smoke pot, and I wrestle Mr. Fucking Pot. You know, like I, I'm getting piss tested. Like, you know, I, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot participate in any reindeer games, sir. I, I, I'm being drug tested as soon as I land. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but that's a, uh, that, that, that was a bigger story to me than, uh, than the match. The match was fun because uh, I wanted to do. Uh, it was in a sumo hall, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I did like the. I said, can I, can I give, can I, can I do the, can we do the bulldog on the ramp? Like, ran down the ramp, I gave him a bulldog, and he, of course, he jumps up and lands on his fucking head for the bulldog, you know, oh, this is great, this is great. But, you know, but, uh, like, the bulldog on the ramp, and uh, not getting high. Those, 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 that's what I remember about wrestling Rob Van Dam in Tokyo. <laughs> um, the Japanese hooker. Well, uh -huh. okay, hold, hold that, hold that. Uh, He's raking me in the eyes. He's raking me in the eyes. I'm trying to come back on him. The crowd's ready. The crowd's ready for a comeback. He's, ah! well, that's, well, that's how the Japanese hooker story comes into play. Okay, tell us the Japanese I, I lived in the dojo uh, the first time. Well, the first time I went, the first time I went was for two weeks. The second time was supposed to be for two weeks. And they said, will you stay for three months? Uh, okay, this is, this is, as I'm there, they ask me. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is the people that don't even return my emails anymore. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll put my life on hold and come live in your goddamn dojo for three fucking months. So I did that, and uh, in case you can tell anything about me, I'm not really a dojo kind of guy. Like, I like to stay out a bit. I like to get loud. I like to have a good time. So oftentimes I would uh, be walking home at like 5 in the morning, staggering home. Mm -hmm. And then like as soon as the sun would come up, like uh, all this furious oh. weight lifting and running in place, and mm -hmm. training would begin, and they would look at me, down upon me because I wasn't doing this. I'm like, look, man, I didn't fucking come here for this. And I'm not, home. yeah, I'm not going to do this. You guys can just fucking forget about it. So it just made like a really awkward and uncomfortable time for me. So the, the, the third time they, they asked me up front, they said, will you come stay three months? And I said, yes. But in my mind, I said, I am not going to stay at the fucking dojo anymore. So there'd been a girl I'd been hanging out with. Like I'd been hanging out with her for some time previously. Just drinking and eating, nothing bad, you know. And I told her how bad the dojo was, how much I didn't like it. And she said, well, why don't you come stay with me next time? Okay, fine. And I kind of, sort of suspected she was a prostitute. But uh, who the fuck am I to judge anybody? I don't know anything about her before I came here. And who knows if I'll see her again. So who the fuck am I to put some kind of judgment down on somebody that's Open up, opening up their home to me to help me out. And from a selfish point of view, it was uh, a really good deal 
because, uh, you know, I had my Xbox hooked up to her TV, I had a computer over here, uh, she would go to work, well, first of all, I, I'm having sex four or five times a day with somebody that hard-working Japanese businessmen pay good money to have sex with, I'm having sex with her for free, and she's cooking my food and washing my clothes, and, uh, she goes to work every day at like 2 in the afternoon and comes back at like 3 in the morning with like $10,000. Like, a, let's go out to eat. Let's go out to drink. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can have a good, you know. And every night was like a, it was like a big party that started at 3 a.m. You know, with other hookers and other guys. And like that's how I originally met Masaru Tanaka was because he was dating a girl that worked at the same place he did. And it was a, re a really fun time, man. A really fun time.